Hey guys, it's Dan. Hey, I had a pretty big win, um, lifestyle win and frugality win yesterday. Uh, so I wanted to let you know about it. A day or two ago, I downloaded the Audible app and I've done that. And this is not a commercial for Audible like you hear on every podcast. Um, it's better than that. <clears throat> so I downloaded Audible. I got my free book, which, you know, you, you hear a lot of podcasters and YouTube people and stuff promoting that. And that's cool. I did get the free book. But um, I, my understanding is it's $15 a month. You get one book a month. And <clears throat> if you want more books than that, I think it costs $15 or around that per book, which for me, for, for an e-product, I understand it takes a lot of money and you have to hire the actor to read the book and all that kind of stuff. But um, it seems kind of steep, especially at the speed I go through audiobooks. You know, like I got an eight hour book by Jocko Willink, um, Extreme Ownership, and it's a good book. And I was spending a lot of time driving yesterday, so I listened to over three hours of an eight hour book in the first day. So I'm thinking, wow, you know, if I do that a couple times a week, I'm going to be spending like $100 a month on audiobooks potentially. So, um, I do see value in the learning, of course, and it's not a bad idea if you're going to invest in something. Education is probably one of the best places, if not the best place you can put your money. But it got me thinking, I wonder if there's some free alternative other than torrents and downloading. You know, of course, you can go pirate audiobooks. You may or may not find exactly what you want, um, and it's a little bit more of a pain in the butt. Um, but I wanted to see if there was something else out there. So I just Googled something like free alternatives to Audible. And <clears throat> some things came up that I had seen before, which were mostly public domain books. In other words, old books. You know, once the um, copyright expires on a work, um, which so basically that's like all your old classics and Shakespeare. And <clears throat> I actually wonder if that's why they made us read all those old books back in high school, because they can get them for like 99 cents each. You know, Grapes of Wrath and all that kind of stuff. Uh, the Scarlet Letter. So you can get all that stuff. But because it's public domain and it's free, um, the quality of the reading might be okay. It might not be great. You know, I don't think anybody's going to go and spend a bunch of money having somebody read a lot of these books and then give them away for free. Um, but there are some foundations that do that. So anyway, that's one option. And there are some apps for your phone and websites where you can stream those older, um, you know, classics, public domain books. But I came across a thread when I Googled that and somebody was saying, hey, my local library has um, an app that you can download and you can check out books on that and periodicals, ebooks, audiobooks. I'm personally interested in audiobooks, but um, I thought, hey, there's an idea I should check out and see if my library has something like that. Because I used to go to the library all the time when I lived in Bellingham, Washington. I'd go stock up on audiobooks back when I had a CD player in my truck and I was in real estate, so I was driving a lot and I would just pop in, you know, I'd get this audiobook that would be like 10 or 15 CDs sometimes and just go through it. It might take me weeks, but it was free and uh, it had some good titles if, if they were in. So anyway, I looked into it and there's this thing called Washington Free Library and it runs in the Overdrive app. So Overdrive is just an app for people to download um, ebooks, audiobooks, um, magazines, things like that, you know, ePubs. And it's, it looks like, from what I've read, it's available um, on Macs, it's available on PCs, Android, iPhone, um, even Kindle, I think, which kind of surprised me. So, and then there are these different providers within that, like Barnes & Noble is doing something on that, um, the Washington Free Library, or no, Washington Anytime Library is the one I'm using, because I still am a member of the Bellingham Public Library, so I just, I had to call them because I forgot my card number. But basically, they gave me my card number and a PIN, and I download the Overdrive app, and when I log in, um, I have access to the Washington Anytime Library, which has multiple copies of a lot of the books. Um, so basically, I'm in there with anybody else in Washington State. But some of the books have like two, three, four, five, I even saw as many as 13 copies of the really popular books. So only one person can have one copy at a time. So yesterday, I downloaded two books for free, and I put on hold about maybe four or five more. And um, I also, they have a wish list. So I put a bunch of them on my wish list because you can only hold so many. And, um, but basically I downloaded or held probably close to $100 worth of what that would cost me on Audible. So it's a pretty big win, money saver. Um, not that Audible isn't worth the money, but if there's a free alternative, why not? And uh, I even, I think I saw some titles that I, 
I might be making this up, but I think I might have seen some titles that I didn't see in Audible. So um, they have a, a ton of titles. So check it out if you're a member of your library or you can get in there some other way. Um, I, I don't have a ton of experience with the Overdrive app. I'm just using that one provider, the Washington uh, Anytime Library. But uh, the commenter that I read about, he was somewhere else in the United States. So check it out. Again, it's Overdrive app and uh, it's on the Play Store, it's on iOS and all of that. So I hope that's helpful for you guys. I know now I'm going to be busy listening to a lot of audiobooks. And um, share your thoughts too. If you know some other apps or sites that are good, I'd love to hear about it. And if you have some topics that you'd like me to talk about in future videos, um, I, I really like that. And I tend to, to make a lot of those videos that people throw at me. So um, it's good for me to know that somebody's actually interested. I tend to want to make that video. So of course, subscribe. Um, I tend to post these on Facebook and on YouTube. So you can check them out either place. And I'm thinking about making these into an audio that I can put on my podcast, which is OD on Life. I haven't done that yet, but uh, that may be in the works here soon. Thank you, everybody. Have a good one.